Hello everybody, it's uh, Jay Roby. I had a subscriber ask tonight um, how to uh, use uh, the free internet chess server um, and the uh, graphical interfaces that come along with it. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, the free internet chess server, if you go to the web page, which is www.freechess.org, which is right here, um, the first thing you need to do is register and pick your username, password, and uh, I think they have to send you an email and all that kind of stuff. Um, they're very picky about um, people not having more than one username, so uh, make sure you uh, pick the name that you want to stick with for quite a while. Um, if you just use the basic web interface for the free internet chess server, it can be very confusing. Um, so I definitely recommend getting a graphic interface, and the one I recommend is Babas Chess. And you do that by going to download a graphic interface here off the main page, and uh, you select your operating system. So mine's Windows XP, so I'll just go ahead and click Show Me the Interfaces. And Babas Chess is the second one uh, from the top, and it's actually been, uh, I think it's got the highest user uh, rating for um, their favorite mod. So anyway, um, you download this uh, Babas Chess, which is a separate program altogether, and you install it onto your computer. And um, what you do is when you, uh, you'll put your free internet chess server username and uh, password into this program, and it automatically connects to the free internet chess server. Now, when you get um, Babas fired up for the first time, it's going to look like this. And uh, most likely you're going to see a window here called the main console when you first log in. And the main console is the area where you can see uh, the uh, free internet chess server news. And when people shout, you can see it in there. And um, if someone challenges you directly to a chess match, it'll uh, pop up on here and you click. You can click either accept, resume, or decline, and that kind of thing. So um, let's just go over the basics of uh, the Babas Chess client here. Um, it's a great client. I, I use it all the time, and uh, it's very flexible. So we talked about the main console already, so I'm just going to hide that. Um, there's a couple things that uh, you can do here. For the first, uh, first thing is uh, how to find a match. Um, you can use your info window tab over here and go to the SOC graph. And it basically shows dots of all the games that are being uh, seeked right now. So, for example, um, there's uh, one here, a uh, guy named Checkstar is seeking a five-minute uh, five uh, rated blitz game. And if you just double-click on the circle there, it'll actually launch the game right away for you. So that's one way you can find a game. Uh, the other is to actually post your own seek. So you go to, uh, under Actions at the top, you go to Actions and then Seek. And from here, you can pick a whole bunch of different game types. Um, so there's a pull-down menu. You can play 15-minute standard games, all the Blitz games here, like Blitz 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 3 minutes. Um, or you can get um, specific, like if you want an initial time of 10 minutes, uh, you can select that. And you can select if you want a rated game or not. Um, I usually always use the rated game. So that's how you can seek your own match uh, from there. Um, the other tabs that are of... Uh, worth uh, mentioning here is the chat tab. So if you hear a little beep, which is uh, text messaging coming to you, uh, click the chat and it'll actually tab it by, per by each person talking to you. And you can, uh, you can type in there. If you don't use a graphical interface, ch the chat I think is, is a little confusing on the free internet chess server. So definitely remember getting, uh, uh, recommend getting Babas for sure. Um, let's see, a couple other things. Um, if you go under File at the top and Preferences, you can change a whole bunch of things like how the board looks, um, what color the pieces and squares are, um, if you have a border, um, all kinds of things like that. You can even change the sounds, um, what displays on the info windows and what color they are, and uh, those kind of things. Another feature of uh, Babas that I really like is if you right-click on a board, like uh, for example, this is my last game here. Um, I'll just go up to the top. You can play through your games um, that you had, so I'm just really flipping through one quickly here um, that ended in a in a draw. And then from here, you can go to edit mode and try different moves out, or you can go to set up board position and actually, um, you know, put the pieces exactly where you want them, and then and then kind of uh, mess around with it from there. And another good option is once you're done a game, um, you go file save to BP. PGN, and you can save all your matches in a PGN format, 
and you can open them up with Baboss and look through them, or you can get something like Chess Base Lite, um, which is a, a viewer that you can look through your PGN files and stuff. So it's a pretty good program, and there's uh, there's a lot of features that I haven't covered, but those are the basic ones to get you started. And uh, I'm still learning new uh, tips and tricks uh, as I go along too. So anyway, take care. Hope you enjoy the video.